Hi everyone, welcome back. Great to see you here. So we already played around with Node quite a bit. We sent responses, we rendered HTML and we created our own routing. Let's have a look at that routing, for example. So here in my app.js file, this is how the routing looks like. Now, this works fine, but as you can see, that's a lot of code for well, for just the routing, for just getting the path and sending a response. And this would get even more complicated if we were to add some, some middleware, some checks and so on. So when working with Node.js on its own, with pure Node.js, we have to write everything on our own. Like we do have to do this when we're working with pure PHP, for example, without any framework. Every logic, parsing routes, or passing URLs, um, creating routing actions, all checks, rendering, everything has to be written by ourselves. Now this is not only annoying, it's also error prone, it might be insecure, and so on. We should focus on the business logic and not on the repetitive tasks of, well, for example, parsing URLs and setting up routes in this way we're doing it right here. So therefore, we're using frameworks in, well, pretty much all languages, right? In PHP, we might use Laravel, which you can also find on this channel. Here in Node, a very popular framework, but not the only one to say that, is Express. Express builds upon Node and it just offers us a lot of tools which make writing Node apps more fun, easier. It implements a lot of functionalities that will take care about all that nitty gritty stuff here and allow us to focus on the business logic, to quickly set up routes, to easily render stuff to the screen and so on. So this is what Express does. And for example, Express also allows us or requires us to use a templating engine to create our HTML files, to dynamically inject values into these files and so on. So it really covers a lot of things we would have to do on our own otherwise and which would be very annoying and it does so in a fast and optimized and secure way. Therefore, using such a framework, be it Express or any other Node framework, is definitely a good idea. For the rest of this course, for the next videos, we'll use Express. And in the next video, we'll start by setting up Express and going through the basic folder structure we'll have in such an Express app. See you there. Bye.